Green siren Hedy Lamarr was quoted as saying, any girl can be glamorous, all you have to do is stand still and look stupid. Perhaps she resented the fact that despite her incredible intelligence and achievements as an innovator, she was destined to be remembered for her racy roles on the big screen in films such as Algiers and Samson and Delilah. In actual fact, she was much more interested in co-inventing the world's first so-called spread spectrum, which went on to form the basis of wireless technology, now used in cordless phone and Wi-Fi internet connections. But Hedy's scientific know-how didn't stop her from forming a string of disastrous romantic alliances throughout her lifetime. Her first husband, arms manufacturer Friedrich Mandel, was said to be so possessive of her that he would lock her up. The story goes that Hedy eventually escaped him by drugging her maid and taking the train to London. In another account of her escape, Hedy reportedly begged her husband to allow her to wear all the jewels he normally kept locked away. In the middle of dinner, she supposedly excused herself to go to the bathroom, but neither she nor the jewels ever came back. She married her next husband, writer and producer Jean Markey, less than four weeks after they met, and they divorced two years later. Hedy claimed they had only spent four evenings together during their entire marriage. Her sixth and final marriage to lawyer Louis Boys ended up in 1965 after Hedy accused him of threatening her with a baseball bat. The same year, she made the headlines for being arrested for shoplifting. Did you have a shopping bag in your possession outside the store as the security guard claims? I mean a shopping bag. A shopping bag containing eight items? Well, I don't know. I, I had my shoes here, yeah, so they must have been a shopping bag. Charges against her were eventually dropped, as they were in 1991 when she was arrested for the same offence. Despite this ignominious final chapter, Hedy did get the posthumous recognition she craved. In 2005, the first Inventors' Day in German-speaking countries was held in her honour.